Indian Motorcycle did it again, and they came back swinging at Harley Davidson. Yeah, the sport chief. What? Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Super excited to be talking about this specific bike here today. Some great big news from the Indian Motorcycle Company. Um, wow, this is a bike that I've kind of been waiting for them to kind of build from factory. Um, if you guys have been a fan of this channel and if you have been watching me for some time, you guys know that I spent a lot of time on the Indian Chief in the past. Indian Motorcycle was nice enough to fly me out to Arizona at, at one point to ride it out for the launch. And then they were nice enough, nicer, to send me one as a loaner for quite some time and I spent a lot of seat time on that. Um, from the beginning, I was an absolute fan of that bike, the design, the, 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 just the whole bike itself, well put together, well thought out, and just a really, really fun bike. Now, that wasn't enough, because, I mean, they, they obviously have listened to the consumer, and they've listened to the market, and one of the main things that people have been saying is, well, you know what, yes, it's a cool bike, but... It, it, it needs to be more than that, right? So it's a fun cruiser, it's a fun performance cruiser, but it, it's just missing something. And right now I think that something that it was missing, they kind of sprinkled it all over the Sport Chief and this thing looks absolutely insane. It looks super cool. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over all the details on the bike, what I think about it, obviously. Um, all the specs and everything that makes the Sport Chief different from the regular Chief. Now the bike still has the air-cooled Thunderstroke 116 engine in it, pushing a brown 120 foot-pounds of torque. It's a peppy, peppy, peppy bike. It's, let's bring some pepper on there. It's a torque beast, just, just to be honest with you. you. You put sport mode on that bike, because if you're not aware, it does have sport mode. It has three different modes on it. It's, freaking awesome to ride it's super fun and it has so much torque to the point where you kind of need to hold down for dear life before the bike kind of launches you off of it it's just, it's a fun bike to ride so the same engine you're gonna have on what we know to be the dark horse chief uh, is on the brand new sport chief now let's talk about what makes the sport chief different so let's just talk about the the, the, the big boom for me which is that that 80s inspired style fairing in the front with the two open vents like on the sides as well it, it looks really really cool like i said it's, it's kind of like 80s inspired it looks super retro super throwback i really really like the design on that it, it's just it's different you know it's, it's not trying to be something uh that is not it's just it's it, it and it's in your face it's it's kind of broad retro and, and, and it, it looks cool as hell man me personally i am a huge fan of fairings I, I i prefer to ride a bike with a fairing on it so you can see right here this is my 2020 lowrider s that i have in the background and i have a memphis shades fairing on it absolutely love that thing um it's just my preference riding style i love the club style look on these bikes um and i'm really happy that indians kind of taking their own thing and just make it into something i mean it, it it looks like an aftermarket fairing it doesn't look like something that that will come from from indian or even harley like it's it looks really cool now another feature that this bike has brand new as well is the six inch riser which looks pretty cool not too crazy about the design on the riser itself but something that could easily be changed out me personally if i had the bike i would go out and swap it out for a Krauss setup just because I like the design of the Krauss much more but I'm really happy that they went with the six inch riser kit I mean six inch it to me is like it's a it's a really comfortable height as well um, and it's a lot better than the the stock height that it comes with now if six inches isn't enough for you they also do have an option for you to purchase a 10 inch riser, which is pretty cool as well. And then going back to the fairing as well, they do have another option for you to switch out the windshield on it. That's like a nice little curvy look on it. It looks really, really cool. So th they do have these brand new components, but with the components, you also could upgrade them, which is 
pretty cool. Now working our way down from there, you're still gonna have that digital four inch uh, speedo analog right there in front of you, which is awesome. It has turn by turn GPS. Um, you can access your sport modes from there. You can see everything and it's just, everything is digital and it's right in your face and it's really clear to see. Huge, huge fan of that. Now. The, yeah, there, there's there's more. There's a lot more still to go over. I just I can't believe they did so much to it. But um, they went ahead and they changed out the forks. Now the bike has an inverted front end, which is awesome. A huge fan of inverted front ends. Uh, my low rider S is an inverted front end, and it's just it makes the bike a lot funner, uh, more aggressive. If you if you're the type of rider who likes to really do aggressive riding and get into those canyons. You like to lean your bike a lot more and just ride real aggressive. You're gonna like this a lot. Definitely makes a bike feel a lot more planted and it just it feels and looks better. Now, making our way further down, we're gonna have Brembo brakes and dual disc front brakes. Uh, Chief from before only had a single disc brake in the front, um, but now we're gonna have dual disc front brakes, which is amazing. And like I said before, we have those Brembo brakes on them, which are gonna look pretty, pretty cool. Especially if you're gonna go with some aftermarket uh, rotors on there, it's gonna look sick. Um, the design of the wheel looks sick. You're gonna have a 19 inch uh, front wheel on that bike as well. So that bike is definitely looking good. I, I, I can't wait to kinda get on that bike pretty soon. Making our way towards the back of the bike, we're gonna have what looks to be a, a brand new redesigned seat on the bike as well, which looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if, if that's an option you can buy or if it just comes with it. From the looks of it, it looks like it just comes with the bike, but it looks a lot better than the, the stock seat on the regular Chief or Chief Dark Horse at that. Now, making our way further to the back, we're gonna have these uh, Fox piggyback shocks on the bike as well. I gotta be honest, the, the 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 stock suspension on the Chief, I'm not too big of a fan of it. I think it's a bit too harsh, but I did have, and I still do have the Indian Scout in my garage still. Um, that was equipped with some piggybacks on there as well. And it changed the bike, uh, the whole riding of it drastically. So I'm pretty sure I haven't used any Fox suspension yet. So on my bike, uh, on my Road Glide, I have uh, the Olins and Screaming Eagles that Harley Davidson makes for that bike. Um, prior to that, I had Legends on it. I had Legends on my Dyna, and I got Progressives on my uh, FXR. My Lowrider still hasn't got a, a suspension upgrade, but uh, it's, it's, it's due for that soon. And I was actually, maybe, I don't know, I was maybe thinking about maybe Fox makes it or not, but I'll look into that. Um, but I'm, I'm eager to try the Fox suspension. I've heard nothing but great things about it and I'm pretty sure on that bike is gonna feel great. Uh, the piggybacks are always a plus. They look cool, they perform better, and it's just it's just better all around. Now, I think that's gonna cover pretty much everything, all the changes that I did in the bike. Let's talk about price point real quick because I feel like the Indian Chief when it came out was priced at a really, really good mark. That price is $17,999. Now, you could get this Sport Chief with all these crazy upgrades for $18,999. If you want the Dark Horse, $17,000, $17,999. And if you want the Sport Chief now is $18,999. So not a huge difference. You're getting so much bundled in for a little more money. And, and it's to me, it's like, it, it kind of, when I saw the price, it kind of blew my mind because I was kind of gonna put this bike in the like the 22,000 range. That's what I'm like, well, it's probably gonna be like 22,000. You know, it's like, no, it's, it's, it's not. And I'm surprised and I'm really happy about that. And I'm pretty sure the consumers out there are going to be really happy about that as well. Now that price is going to be for the black smoke though. So if you want the red, it's going to be 19,499 and that's going to be the same price for the stealth gray. And now they have like a nice, beautiful blue icon edition, which that one's going to be 19,999. So. I mean, you're, you're, you're still under $20,000 for uh, this bike that comes with upgraded suspension, a nice design fairing in the front, a riser setup already, dual disc front brakes, uh, inverter front end, um, the 116, um, the digital analog in the front, and it's a cool bike, man. It's like, it's like, I'm like, I still can't comprehend how it's, it's priced at that price point. It's, Indian is doing something right. So, yes, this new Indian Sport Chief is the answer 
in the reply to Harley Davidson's low rider S. That that's what that's the only bike that this bike is here to compete with. Um, and if you had to put them head to head right now, I I, I don't know. It's it would be. Uh, I mean, hey, listen, I and I gotta be honest. I love my low rider S. Thing is one of the best bikes on the market, on the cruiser market at that. Um, but did this brand new Sport Chief kind of? It's kind of put a. I think they might put a damper on things because now it's like you, you're gonna have the Sport Chief's gonna go neck to neck with this low rider S from Harley, and and it the, the Sport Chief is offering a lot of cool stuff on it. I mean, I mean they're pretty similar, pretty pretty similar, but you're, you're getting the upgraded suspension on the Indian. Uh, a bigger fairing because the lowrider comes with a, a smaller bikini fairing. Um, they're both inverted front ends, both dual disc front brakes. Um, Harley does use Brembo, even though they kind of don't brand it. Their brakes are Brembo, um, but it's a it's a bigger displacement engine. Um, now the ST is has the 117, um, but the low rider has the 114 and with the sport chief you're gonna get the 116 and i gotta say the chief is a lot more torquier though you're, you're definitely gonna feel that torque especially when you put that bike on sport mode it's just it's a demon now with that being said i really 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 want to hear what you guys have to think and even you harley guys out there because most of my viewers are harley davidson riders and I, a lot of people harley guys hate indian but just put that aside real quick look at this bike look at all the components that it comes with and 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 tell me really what you honestly think about the brand new indian sport chief i'm really eager to listen to everybody's thoughts and i'm gonna be in the comments replying to everything so go ahead drop those comments um i, I can't wait to get on this bike and spend some time on it Anyways, that's gonna be it. If you guys wanna see more content like this, and trust me, there's gonna be a lot more content on the Sport Chief, I will be riding this bike pretty soon. I cannot disclose any information, but I'm just tune in. Just tune in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button as to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.